Why did the Mario? Why did Mario Party input control stick spinning mini games? The San 64 version. I'm playing. I don't know what I'm playing. I think the TV's off. You don't know what you're playing. Hey, how's it going? You okay? Uh, you remember a few days ago when we when we were called to rake the yard and we did it nearly twice because apparently we weren't doing it right. Yes. Well, my stubborn ass didn't put on any sunblock, and the back of my neck is sunburnt. And it still is. I can tell from this side. It's just a little frustrating, and it's making me go all moody and shit. Would you... Apparently there's a camera here. Would you like to maybe watch a video? Will probably ease off that sunburn of yours in the back of your neck. Why the hell not? <laughs> hey, everybody! Someone left their Pepsi here. I think that's. What? Never mind. They were probably too lazy to finish it. <laughs> I probably, I don't know. But hey, everybody! It's warm. Yeah, I get it. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just trying every way I can to slow down the intro. Well, um, this that was uh, actually that was actually quite a start. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you get the point. Uh, this is hey, guys, we're doing a video today. Yeah. We're reacting to Fawful's Minion. He's an awesome dude. Go check out his channel. The icon in front of its face. And maybe a thing up here. There it is. Okay, that's a link. It takes you to his channel. If you want to subscribe? Yeah. Uh, this is the top 15 Mario Party mini games that was just recently uploaded. Waffles Minion, good. Mario Party, fantastic. Top f top 15 about it? I'm slain. Giving him all of my excite. Exactly. So, of course. Oh, by the way, um. The lighting is different because we had to wait nearly all day for this. <laughs> There's Gosh. people in the house and yada yada. That's not important. And the important thing is now, it's right here and we get to watch it. Yep. It was earlier today, actually. It just got uploaded, so. Yeah. Um, and these guys are here. Just, just to liven up the mood, I guess. And, uh, the original Mario Party guys in yeah. town. Yeah, actually. Now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. We're at three, one, two, wh whatever. Three, nine, five, two, four, eight. Go. Four, sixteen, twenty-one, twelve. Go. Consider supporting the not so Please. Sorry. Please consider supporting. All the you had to do was so play the video. Minion on Patreon. You messed up already. What's wrong with you? Link down in the description. Yes. I love this. Mario Party 3! That's one. Come one, come all! It's the torture fest of Nintendo's best, fabulous prizes, defunct lawsuits, and more! Roll those die and you will do. The proverbial spike trap on this road to remastery. Our penultimate sight to see is a big top tent of holy nightmares. I'm stuck working the RSVP line, so no way am I going down alone. Mario Party is a thing to behold. Fear and cherish. Hudson Soft's iconic mark on the mushroom realm defined many a childhood. I love Mario Party. And then we left. Raised on this stuff. It explains a lot. So let's pay a heartfelt cautionary revisit to the multiplayer oh. juggernaut that oofed me so good. This spin-off series has been immortalized thanks in part to over. 500 minigames, offering up years of family rivalry and good, good laughs. So, shall we explore my favorites? 
Something to mention. Oh, I no. haven't played every game in the series. Ew, though I have ten. played 1 through 8 and Super Mario Party, like the majority of folks. So, I don't feel too bad walking past what you already did. Sorry, only games from those qualify here. We'll fight. So no 9, right 10, or 3 or from the party. Yeah, like we're still gonna have one after this. <laughs> Okay. Oh, your screams give me life. There's no shame in admitting you hate yourself. Hello, but there may be a little bit placed on the head of that one fart part that likes. This is Mario 42. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know. that's me. This rough shot of that not the bees. Remix torture. Not scene the bees. Nailed the tone. Hilarious, <laughs> painful, <laughs> impending fear of disappointment. Pick one, pick two, it all ends in I HATE YOU! Ow! Upping the audience size and beehive count, it's a cringy slog watching the fruit slowly disappear alongside your hopes and dreams. You best hope you're not last in line. <laughs> Am I necessarily one to play the cake hole that waits as long as possible, thereby savoring the anguish of his friends? Oh! <laughs> You can have the honey, honey. Nowhere as sweet as your tears. <laughs> <laughs> Mario Party 1 yeah. and 2. What's a good ball bumping between best buds? You really are, Mr. Gay, aren't you? It's 2019! You gotta have a hefty pair to blow such a well-rounded classic so low. Let's just say the two-pack of thwomps are on sale. The toddler's <laughs> equivalent of sumo wrestling. Bumper balls turned the touch of an analog stick into a tense commitment with thrilling payoff. Being a campy heck is just as viable as going hambo. So the ratio of gun-ho bravehearts charging in for the kill to evasive wiggle worms bent on timing their hideout is about 50-50. Luigi, for God's sake, stand still! Okay. Not like that! All the fun hinges <laughs> in the ensuing banter. Okay. This is as fun as your friends are, making it inconsistent at large, even with two's additional dirt piles and ice physics. Being well-rounded isn't all it's cracked up to be, but I got to make my dirty jokes. So, yeah. <laughs> Balls. Jeez. Mario Party 1. What gang were you at? I killed them. <sighs> My god. Such a classic. You know, the OG Mario Party was on to something. Other people suck. I'm a single independent <laughs> wahoo. Other Don't people suck. Chunks. But I still need something to kill. So lo and behold, the very best of the hideously underrated one-player minigames gives me plenty. Whack-a-Plant takes an old-timey staple of Playhouse Arcades and tricks it out with quirky anti-logic. Send those moles on vacation. Better to jump on giant carnivorous crap. Whenever I see a Mario Party 3 minigame on this list, I'm gonna come. CPUs play better! Well, at least you get paid. Like... A lot. The I forget I said that. What did I say? For what it's asking, and it's so satisfying to jump <laughs> on historically anti-jump enemies. Jerks. That's the perfect payoff. Watching the cash pile up with each whacked wee yelping at increasingly higher pitches, all ending with the glorious 100% jingle. Two green thumbs. Way up. <laughs> Love the little endings of the ads music. Within every entourage of plumber party pals, there's some games that trigger utter bedlam. Good bedlam. The right spice your RNG gazpacho I hate needs. This. Here, I'll show you. Grab bag. Mario Party 1 again. Jeez. I have a feeling all these are. Most of the, Some of these are gonna be. Um, Mario Party 1, because I guess that's his favorite. Juicy money. You know about Uncle Sam Yoshi? He still leaves you some. My name's not Uncle Yoshi with 110 Who coins. Thought this was alright. Most minigames, they put a cap on how much damage you can do. You oh can only God. lose so much. But the original grab bag turns everyone into a chain grabbing pickpocket in God mode. Everyone plays with their life savings on their back and the aims to steam summer sail it to death. 
What makes this so brutal is the lack of limits. You can jack a cash bag every few seconds in a game that lasts 60 seconds. I can't even remember what my record haul is, but I'm sure the average is 60 off one player in a common four player mini game. Jeez. The greed is overwhelming. I feel like I'm building their body. Smiling, breathing, yawning, blinking, thinking, sneeze payment. It's all mine! <laughs> oh, stealing money, uh-huh. You best hope the FBI don't got 60 seconds. <laughs> Number 11, come on. I bought a tank! Are you out of your mind? Let me show you how the gun works. Yeah! Two. Kind of fascinating oh, how sometimes something can be so shallow, so dumb, so low committal, yet it just pulls you in and whispers random words of wisdom. I'm intrigued by my dumb. Mario Party 2's All these are N64 so far. I'm actually liking this a lot. Though it forgets to leave water, because playing this gets me I'm thirsty. I'm a little worried. Setting aside the ingenuity of super gluing decapitated heads onto Ninja Turtle toys, <laughs> the objects hilarious. <laughs> Ninja Turtle toys. I like them better when they're... When their, life. Like, oh, what wise words! I love the color of the guys. things match the character. Well, them just being this stuff represent player hard. color. Yeah, but doing it with clunky retro tank controls in a simplistic arena. It's classically refreshing here. Yeah, it's dumb. There's not much depth, even for what we're dealing with today. But like I don't one. know what to tell you. Blasting's fun. I can make my own sound effects. Pew pew. Boosh. <laughs> yeah. I like the music in Mario Party 2. Oh my god, dude. Oh! Yes! There we go. I thought it was silent, that one. Well, you don't wake up in a warm sweat, do you? Don't answer that. Warm oh, sweat. Mr. Blizzard's Brigade Cool would be a disservice to both ears and hearts and the word cool. Because the tempo's pretty spicy. This particular flavor of Just Don't Die is lined with low-key anxiety and respectively tall piles of salt. The sightly ring of titular snowmen and madams over a frozen pond is juxtaposed with their unspeaking blood. Lust. Contestants drop faster than Little Mac mains as they slowly Little ice Mac. every schmuck in sight. It's like bombs away, but prettier and much easier to get blindsided. Oh god, I just love how done your body is when you get hit. It's like one of those fake pony rides with cataracts in the eyes. Oh. And my suffering. Once the big one starts moving, you're gonna need a pry bar for your butt cheeks. Get a master dodger as a rival and you're gonna grunt under all that tension. Ow! Hit that chunk, he has his own zip code! Oh, good. Wario Pop, ten bucks! Love that. Already number nine. Two. Hey, don't be Who's shocked. Ball? Not Fool's Ball. Ah, the days in Palm Fools was ball. the hypest of the hype. Grandpa's the world over. Up double double round God. the FM radio. It was a tense Wii Sports Grand Finals, so let's go live to the closing event. Speed Hockey. Really, though, this is just about the most fun I've ever had with the Pong template. Quite an arena, coach. Breathing room on par with Tokyo crosswalks means there's a shell ricocheting every two frames. I've legit gotten dizzy keeping track of the puck. Classic three-point terms for victory. Don't blink, don't laugh. I say that like it's possible. Just like bumper balls, it's standard stuff with CPUs, but it erupts into a bleacher full of coked up gremlins once the fellas join in. Someone's gonna keep it on practice forever, and it's probably gonna be me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> the stock phrase, short and sweet, could be used to describe every... <laughs> most of the series' mini-games. But when your concept, quality, and theme could all factor that into being the title itself, throw that in my trick-or-treat bag. Candy Shakedown does what a lot of modern mini-games try to do. Dress up a gimmick like a killer prom date, and thankfully it all ends with some sugar. Superimpose the sight of delicious diet-killing candy over your Joy-Con. But eat God, there's a jar around it. 
Patrick got the lid off. Go on, get your buddy some candy. Not only is it a delightful childhood sensibility to be committed to emptying a candy jar, the accuracy of the motion control is superb. Even ignoring the brain pain delivered by the stupid green pieces. <laughs> emptying out the jar is so satisfying, I, I barely realize how sad this is. Why did I buy this controller? Why did I buy this game? I could have gotten so much candy. Oh god, Mario Party 2. Now, you've heard of tents. Y'all think you know tents. But you pitch up and sleep in this kind? Bears are gonna be demanding restraining orders. Bowser's big blast. Good lord, the lord did good here. Model a giant glass bomb after the Mr. March of Turtles, hook it to a colorblind fuse, and then color coat the detonators. The old family recipe for the anus clenchiest minigame in all of Mario Party. A simple story with multiple endings of mixed quality. Line up, pick a color, and pray. That's it! This is taking blood-boiling RNG and minimalist design and weaponizing it for war. Oh, funny thing. Battle minigame. So a lot of cash is on the line if you get this in party mode. I can't think of a more evil trigger for life-bending anxiety than literally chaining you and your bank account's fate to a bomb that may or may not explode at your choice. Even Jigsaw saying bruh. Oh no! That's so evil. 43! 43! Ew. Oh my gosh, dude. Everybody's got you love this game, okay? Game that tickles your inner whipcracker. You know, the kind that gives away that what? you unironically like this demon series? Yeah. That is shock, drop, and roll. For me, at least. Give me that taser whip, boy. Oh my, who turned the tables? My hand smells suspiciously like tables. So guilty. A classic Mario Party scenario with brutally comical theming. Guy on platform, the rest on a crank-operated cylinder suspended over giant box jellyfish tentacles. The safe word is chance time. <laughs> oh, I love this. Being the one on the platform is beyond therapeutic and is one of the tastiest helpings of revenge in this series. Sucks to be the three, but hey, that stolen star of mine filling your pocket will tip you just close enough into the zappy sawback pit with you! <laughs> just, just go. Go watch the next <laughs> entry. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Zap! So yeah. You know, sometimes you just it can't make a joke. But then other days you have way too many, and basic thought becomes a six-figure luxury. I have so many choice words for Mario Party 3's foul play. I introduce you to KFC self-checkout. Caveman up and wrangle down your feathery brunch. No pointy sticks allowed. Look, I get it. Mario and the fellas probably just helping a farmer get it back in its cage. Goody goody gumdrops. But after so many years of not catching that stupid chicken, all my collective salt had better be sprinkled on his tasty eleven herbs and spices corpse. I suck at this minigame <laughs> so much. It's to the point of comedy. The generously open space and deliberately delayed scooping totals up to a hilariously embarrassing grope fest where everybody goes home hungry. I'll eat up the laughs though. I've gotten headaches laughing so hard at this stupid game. I'm crying, I'm wheezing, I'm chicken stripless, there's no hot sauce and yakety sex blasting all the way to the bank. I hate playing it, but love the experience. Classic Mario Party. I'm ordering the beef next time. Chicken stripless? What, four already? 
Thank you. You ever wonder why a lot of people don't like reading books? Mmm, someone hasn't played Mario Party 4. Why get lost in folds of magical paper when you can get crushed by virtual paper instead? Get on that, schoolers. If elementary book reports were this fun, I'd be the king of Yale before puberty. Book squirms a champ. Once again, following the Just Don't Die theme, a book fatter than the devil's donut-loving Bible made of concrete is your existential bane for the evening. The context is really funny in hindsight, since reading is good for you. The pace gets crazy down the line, especially when played in the rec room. 99 pages? Are you out of your mind? The highlights for me are blocking others and the therapeutic squish that follows. Mmm, violence. Killer book? Killer game. Checkmate, Stephen King. Oh my god, this is one of my big fast, actually. <laughs> I love this one. Memes notwithstanding, the Mario Party series generally doesn't directly encourage you to be a butthole to your friends, steal from them, incinerate them, feed them to man-eating plants, but we still good. Enter Slapparazzi. Now we bad. Mad bad. This game turns on the trash talk more than a cartoon garbage can. The concept is your gold. High profile photographer needs a star for their shoot. Now if we could all form an orderly line. Move, skink! I'm gonna be famous! Yeah, for kissing toilets, plum scum. Come here! Ladies, you're both beautiful, but I'm adorable! Move, your fat tender bait cow bum! Mom told me it was picture day. Being paid cold hard <laughs> coin to punch your chumps out of the way for a good pick is a foolproof way of harvesting kex. Say cheese, make cheese. Love it. <laughs> I'm my pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the penguin. It's so cute. <laughs> Speaking of hilarious, I've come to really love that confused mixture of wholesomely cute and violently funny that pushy penguins hand oh deliver God. on a silver platter. A scenic standstill on a beautiful sheet of ice turns to cartoony horde hysteria as a colony of starving penguins flock to the waters behind you. And of course they don't all go the same speed, some slow, most fast. It's so easy to get trapped and carried off to the set of Titanic. Oh, James Cameron, excellent work. On top of the tastefully terrifying sensation of getting dogpiled to death a la edgy March of the Penguins reboot, my chortly mind likes to think that these are all the little babies you dropped off the icy cliff over the years. Never say no to a hug! Hey, you did this. Got nothing else to blame, you monster. Oh boy. Ah, <sighs> some things never change. <laughs> Still the champ, One and two. see? No other MP torture spree makes me so happy. See, the mushrooms aren't the only things mixing it up. I'd imagine most who watch me expects a great big deal out of any number one spot. I try. But here's a spot where I just want to chill. Mushroom mix-up and its sequel reskin is my easiest smile in all of Mario Party. As I've shown, a lot of the minigames stick you in a minefield and just scream, don't die, in all shades and execution. This is by far my favorite. This simple prospect is turned vivid by having to fight for personal space atop vivid ocean mushrooms and surrounded by impending hentai. Yeah, love the style here. Oh my God. It's especially fun given how much sabotage potential there is. Stunning slow pokes with ground pounds or Mufasa-ing their slow hide expecting help up. And the balance team must have eaten ocean mushrooms at some point, because the increase in speed throws book squirm to the sharks. Look at this! Woohoo! Good lord, what a ride! Look, hope you weren't expecting a novel. It's fun, I love it. I'll play it any day. And I just might do so now. This is being Fuffles Minion. Enjoy the punch! Thanks for watching, guys. Oh Give it gosh. up for the high tier patrons. She, 2800, Jordan, Osceola, Tubazone, 1989, Diamond Ice, Skellington, 977, Mathtron, 5000, Goldsbro, TSG, 
Thomas Drury, Spark of Dusk, 777, Cole, The Wren's Castle, Jerway, Sensei Spyro, Lucario Smash, 246, God Falking Dammit, Alfredo Jones, Green Moonlight, Sefi 90, Nightmare Steel, Zero Z, Jake Arnstom, Morgan Arvite, Squeegee Luigi, Baltazar Rodriguez, Squeegee John Luigi. the Pink, Renaku, Lord of Shadow, Cortamanch, 437, Azazel, The Undying, Cody Thomas, Peter Shepard, Solitaire Seamus, Christopher, GTY 200, Belkin, Michael Boyd, Steve, Masao, Exeox, put 9 volt in Smash Bros, please, Roberto Del Fuego, Smash Mario Pro 2000, and Grandmaster Augustus. May we meet again! Huh. Oh. I should have guessed that he would put more um, uh, Mario Party 1 and, 1 and 2 minigames on the list. It, um, uh, I don't know if he's ever, he's ever said it before, but uh, Mario Party 1 is one of his favorite. His, I think, pretty sure his most favorite Mario Party. I can tell, like shit. Yeah, it was um, number 4 on his uh, most nostalgic minigames list. I should have saw it coming. But yeah, at least one Mario Party 3 mini game went on there, even if it wasn't Eats a Pizza. Yeah, I'm surprised that's not on there. Eh, well, I mean, right, that's I, his opinion. I, mean, I was gonna say, either way, I respect it. But there you go. That was the top 15 Mario Party mini games by Fawful's Minion. Of course, you can go down to the original uh, video along with this channel. A little, little, uh, give a little credit there. Um, but yeah, anything else? <gasps> Okay, that's it. <laughs> I didn't plan that, it just came up. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta do some video planning. This video just gave me an idea. Actually, yeah. But first... Well. No! Oh, come on! Why do we always get button matcher mini games in these videos? Alright, the TV's not on anymore. Sorry about that, Toad. There. Ooh! Taking that Pepsi.